Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a load trail CH14. Shown here is a 7x20, 14,000 pound GVW. It's equipped with the optional maxed ramps. So the max ramps would be the full width ramps at the back of the trailer. We'll show you those in a minute. Those ramps can fold over flat and make a nice level 20 foot deck. They can also stand up if you need to full, uh, you know, pull a 20 foot piece of equipment or truck or whatnot on here. But then it'll also give you full width loading. So let's take a walk around this trailer. Other than that, pretty much everything you see here would be standard equipment on the trailer with one exception. Uh, this cold weather wire harness, which is the blue harness there, that would be an extra. Standard would be a traditional black seven pin whip. Speaking of the whip, it is a seven pin plug as you would find on most any uh, truck nowadays. Simply plug that in, that'll activate your electric brakes on the trailer. So it's got your safety chains up front. You've got a two and five sixteenth inch cast coupler, not stamp. This is a heavier duty cast style coupler. Nice setup. Uh, this also has the 12K jack. So traditionally on a 14K equipment trailer, you may get the stamp coupler. You may also get a 7K jack. This is the bigger style. Notice it also has the bar extension. It comes out, makes it nice, easy to deploy. It's also got a grease zert. Uh, you wouldn't typically find a grease zert there, so point that out. It's also got a pair of zerts on the jack. Uh, fairly seldom do these go bad, but in the event they do, simply take the cap off and you can get a bearing set for ease of replacement. Smaller jacks, generally speaking, don't have that functionality. So if something happened, you would need to replace the entire jack. So a little bit more user-friendly. As with most 14K equipment trailers in the marketplace, this is gonna have a six inch channel tongue. Notice it is a full wrap tongue, meaning it goes all the way back to the spring hangers. And then it's also got a six inch channel mainframe. That would be pretty typical for most 14K trailers in the market. So nothing, uh, nothing special to see there necessarily. Now, not all of them do wrap all the way back, whereas this one does. Uh, this has the LED lights, all sealed beam, grommed lights. You can kick them and hit them, and they're a little bit forgiving. They're not a stud-mounted light. Now, this also has got stake pockets for tie-downs and also D-rings as well. So you've got a few different tie-down options. Notice going down the side of the trailer, it's got the reflector tape. And it's also got pinstriping, gives it a nice look. Underneath the deck here, the 2x8 treated decking is a 16 inch on center structural channel cross member. It's a 3 inch channel. A 3 inch channel used to be pretty well industry standard, and for the most part, I'd say it still is. Some have opted to use a slightly lighter and cheaper 3 inch form cross member. Form not being structural channel, it isn't quite as strong particularly on the torsional load. On vertical, it's almost as strong, but on the uh, torsional load, it's uh, it's not gonna be as load uh, as strong when you twist it up. Uh, it goes without saying, these are painted, of course, on the underside. Some trailers, surprisingly, are not. Most would be, but it is powder coated all the way through. It does have a straight axle, as would most equipment trailers in the marketplace. Of course, it is a 7,000 pound axle. Sealed wiring harness is clipped along the side out of the way. Okay. Speaking of paint on the underside, this trailer is uh, powder coated, not not necessarily painted. One thing Load Trail does, it is different than most of what's in the industry. They do a powder primer or a zinc primer prior to applying the top coat or the finish coat of powder coat. Now Load Trail has always put on a little bit thicker powder coat, but this newer zinc primer uh, really sets them apart. Most in the industry are not doing that process. Uh, just make the uh, paint on these last a little bit longer. Now on these, they're going to use a Dexter brand axle, 7,000 pound. Dexter's using, or on these, they've got the newer style, never adjust brakes on these Dexter axles. Never adjust brakes is a spring tensioner, similar to what would be on a car. Uh, simply forward adjust the brakes for you, so that you don't have to service the brakes. Now they do have a manual adjuster on them, but again, with this setup, uh, generally that wouldn't need to be used. Now, if you can read upside down or sideways, you may be able to see that says Gladiator. Most all tires nowadays are made in China. Gladiator, we do tend to find, however, is one of the better brand tires. Not only that, they've got national distribution. If you ever have a failure, a warranty claim or whatnot, Gladiator is one of the easier ones to find, certainly because they do have uh, retail uh, 
visibility in the US, certainly one of the easier ones if you ever have some sort of warranty claim or whatnot on them. Now, as this isn't a 7,000 pound axle, it's gonna have an eight log hub. It's a eight on six and a half. On these they're using a black mod wheel, gives it a nice blackout appearance. And in the center, you've got that black cap. If you pull that off, sometimes in a nice summer day, you can pull it off with your fingers. Otherwise, take a flat bladed screwdriver. Behind it, it's got a grease zert. It's called an Easy Lube Hub. But with that, an average homeowner can do their own bearing maintenance to the trailer, making yourself fairly self-sufficient on this particular model. Now, as it is a 7K axle, a fair amount in the industry are gonna use a slipper spring suspension like that. Uh, some do still use an eye to eye. Slipper spring you see there is gonna be more durable. Uh, certainly a longer lasting uh, suspension. So again, slipper spring suspension with Dexter axles. Now moving on back, a couple other things they do a little different. Now, as I said earlier, these are an optional ramp. That is not standard. Uh, a couple nice things they do about them or do with them. Uh, one, this latch is pretty simple to use. Uh, definitely nicer than some of the ones that we've sold or some of the other brands that we've seen in the industry. So nice setup there. Uh, they do put a gusset plate in the beaver tail. That's something you fairly rarely see. Some do it, but not many. Now on this beaver tail, uh, unlike a traditional trailer where it have a two foot beaver tail and a five foot ramp, they're gonna split the difference because your ramp and your beaver tail got a somewhat match, it's gonna be about a three and a half foot beaver tail and a three and a half foot ramp. Now also, instead of being a wood beaver tail, you're gonna notice these are a self-cleaning beaver tail like your bigger deck overs would be. So let's go ahead and we'll put this in the upright position and I'll sh prove to you here that you can do this in fact with one hand. So one hand I was able to pick it up and then also uh, clip it on. So this would stand up in the upright position using that bar. And then the ramp, certainly in the down position, you can see there the full width loading capability. So it gives you full width loading. It gives you the ability to stand up the ramp like a traditional stand up ramp, but then certainly laying down like you see in the far side, it gives you a full flat 20 foot deck. And some folks need that if you're loading skids or pallets or pipes or all the other different things that guys load on these. A couple of the little details, they put the, uh, the neon green max ramp symbol on there. Kind of a neat, gives it a neat look. Uh, these are of course spring assisted. If you need to take the ramp off, uh, you can do so. Very simple to do. Of course, it's got all your DOT required reflective gear and uh, stop turn tails. This trailer is equipped with removable fenders. I did skip over that step. Uh, if you ever want to load a low profile car, certainly those removable fenders will come in handy. Uh, I know quite a few customers that have buddies that borrowed their trailer and uh, buddies don't take care of trailers like the guy that owns it do or does. So. Uh, Certainly with the removable fenders, make it easier to bolt a fender on whenever your buddy borrows your trailer instead of welding one and torching one on. So, Also nice if you want to side load skids, uh, certainly take that fender off. Uh, if you got skid material or whatnot you want to side load, it makes it a little bit easier. You put a dummy skid down and then uh, normally take that fender off, you have four or five inches there. Makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit more loader friendly or user friendly. Trailer is available in different lengths. This is a 7x20. Something like this is going to weigh in at about 3,100 pounds, give or take. It's going to give you a net legal payload right around 11,000 pounds. Certainly, you're also going to pick up some tongue weight, which would be on the truck side via the ball. Generally, that amount equates to about 15%. 15% of 14,000 is going to come in at about 2,000 pounds. You're not going to necessarily see all that 2,000 pounds as you would have to be perfect on both axles on loading, which isn't very likely. So again, uh, we'll say somewhere just north of 11,000 pound legal payload on a trailer like this. It's available in different sizes. 22 would be semi-common. A uh, generally trailer like this, we try and avoid an 18 foot. Uh, it just gives you a shorter, about a 14 and a half foot flat deck, which we tend to find is too short. This 20 foot tends to work out about right for most customers. It is also available in a gooseneck, and we've done these before in a 10,000 pound, although not quite as common. And it is also available with 8,000 pound axles, which would make a 16,000 pound GBW.
you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to take a look on our website at bestchoicetrailers.com or you can feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.